Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya, if you're new. And today I'm gonna to be doing part two of my haul. I kinda of like to split it up because I don't like it to be too long. Plus it's easier for me to upload and film and all that. So finally got around to uh, filming a little bit more of the haul. And uh, packing is going good. I will uh, let you guys know more on that in my coloring updates. So hope you check that out. And let's get started with the haul. The next item are just these. I got them at uh, Five Below, which is a, it's a discount store here in the United States. And these are basically just water-based markers. And they have a really nice brush tip at the end. And for $5, you get a couple of really nice colors and then little fine liner tip there. Now, what I like about them is the color selection is very, very interesting and cool. So I use these when I, I just keep them on my desk when I'm doing a little water-based work and... Okay, so here are the swatches, you guys. Oops, upside down. Look at that. I mean, the colors are amazing. These are surprisingly good quality, you guys. I cannot believe it. Like, these were $5. The quality is incredible. Now, you also have a fine tip, which um, I do like to use uh, fine liners for certain things as well especially the darker ones, but um, wow, these are really good quality. I'm, I'm just in shock, like, they're less streaky than Tombow, I feel like, I don't know. Um, they're probably not that light fast though, but anyway, I love the color selection. You don't have too many primary colors. I don't get small sets that are just primary colors, like, there's no point for me, but these I saw had really interesting colors and they really do, like, look at these grays. Got a green gray, a blue gray, like a taupey color, like really awesome. Um, you've got like a, a greenish gray, a dark greenish gray, like, anyway, these are awesome for $5. You can't go wrong. If you have a five below next to you, I would say get this. This is awesome. My other favorite purchase uh, for the past few months has actually been this one. It's the White Knights uh, Metallic and other, it's called pastel, but metallic in other colors, basically, because they're not all metallic. And the story behind is this is that, um, first of all, I love White Knights. I love metallic colors. And the price was amazing. I got this on eBay. I, and um, I wanted to purchase these colors, these three colors separately, because this is a flesh tone and a maroon i thought it would be more burgundy it's more of a brownish but i w i was looking for a maroon and i really wanted this one too this is called what is it called peter's ochre st petersburg ochre or something but it's a very cool um pewterish grayish brownish color that is very good for buildings and for a lot of stuff so i wanted to get these single pan but to get them single pan it's eight dollars with shipping for just one and this entire um, palette was $30. So it made a lot more sense to get that. And I love metallics. So here are the swatches. So the metallics are one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven of them are metallic. And one, two, three, four, five are just regular watercolors. They're more of a gouache type, but they're beautiful colors, very useful, muted colors. So. I love this palette so much and really, really glad I got it. I've already started using it. And I know that White Knights, uh, well, I think they came out with a new palette of granulating watercolors. So that is on my wish list. I forgot what it's called. Um, but um, yeah, definitely on my wish list because I love it and I use watercolor a lot. So love that. So before throwing out the box, I actually cut it out. I'm going to paste that in my. Um, coloring journal so that I have another record of the of the names even though I did paste the little wrappers that it came with but yeah just wanted to show that to you yeah I did save all the wrappers but I'm just gonna save that too and put it in there at some point and the other one that I got is the white knight pastel set um they're beautiful I can't remember if this is from eBay or Amazon so I don't remember specifically maybe eBay possibly um but yeah these are the colors beautiful opaque uh watercolors or as I like to say gouache <laughs> 
Um, so yeah, I did get that also, and I love them. Big fan of this company. The next item is actually something that I got for my kids. I did not get it for myself for coloring. I got it because for homeschooling for my kids, but I thought I would show you, and I, I thought, you know what? Once in a while, I might steal these and try them out for coloring. They're called rainbow pencils. It's like the Koinor uh, ones, but the Koinor ones are kind of expensive right now. See how like when you move it, it basically changes color. It's LEDs with various colors. It's it's a knockoff of the Koinor magic pencils, but these are cheaper um, here in the in the United States to get a hold of. So I got it for my kids because one of my kids doesn't like writing. So I thought if she writes with a chain, you know, a pencil that changes color, she might like writing better. So, and my kids do like these. So, um, just wanted to show that to you. So if I end up using these in coloring. Uh, pages I will let you know I think I think it would be nice for like a pencil background or it might be fun to play around with so um if I do end up coloring with these here and there I will let you guys know oh I forgot that I do have swatches for these and here they are so it's these these are basically the colors of the pencil so I would say the ones that are more rate like different um this doesn't look so different to me honestly I would say one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven. Seven of them are pretty cool. Uh, the rest are, uh, you know, more um, just, that one looks just regular to me, I don't know. So just wanted to show that to you. Okay, so the next purchase uh, has to do with oil pastels. Now, I have a story here. So you guys know that I have the 48 colors of Mungio Gallery, which are incredible quality oil pastels. And I am so happy a bunch of people are told me that they're trying them now. Uh, they're great. So I want a bigger set. On my wish list is a bigger set of oil pastels, higher quality oil pastels. But until then, I couldn't wait. And so I got some um, cheaper oil pastels because I wanted more colors to complement the 48 set. So I'm going to show you what I got. Now, these are not, these are Arch, Art Teco, but um, these are not as good quality as Mangio, but they're not bad, actually. So I did use some of these in my um, Botanicum page. Hold on, let me try to find. Okay, so I did use some of these neon colors. I wanted neon oil pastels. I did use some of these neon colors in this page right here. I think I used two neons and two regular colors. So um, I was able to kind of achieve a nice, not too bad of a blend, you know. Like I said, they're not as good as the Mungio. And I'm sure the, uh, what's the other brand that's good? Um, what are they called? Obviously, Sennelia, but not that. The mid-range brand. Paul Rubens. I think the Paul Rubens ones are also good quality. I don't, I've never tried them. I have a feeling they're, they're also good. But, so these are more of a, um, not as good quality, but they're not bad, actually. So these, I wanted them for the extra colors. Like this, this kind of color. These, uh, I wanted these kind of colors. This one right here, the lighter browns and the lighter peaches. So, um, yeah, I wanted some, some more colors. Like, this is a beautiful pinky mauve -y. So, I did get this, and it was cheaper. It was, uh, it's pretty cheap. Let's see. Um, 72. 72 oil pastels for now until I get the one that I want. It's out of stock, but hopefully in the future. So, I did get these two, uh, sets so because i've been obsessed with oil pastels lately as you guys know okay so we're gonna get started with the books and the first book is go slow a snail coloring book by jen racine and i have a flip through of this on my channel i'll link it i follow jen on uh, instagram so i can link her instagram as well but she's a wonderful illustrator love her style so much I don't get a lot of coloring books, uh, Amazon print books, because of the paper, but I do make exceptions here and there, and she's definitely an exception. I do have her folk art uh, birds coloring book, 
And on my wish list is her Vegetable Lovers coloring book. I do want that at some point as well. But um, this is my second uh, coloring book of hers. And there's 30 illustrations here. Um, and so there's no doubles. And um, I just love the cover, isn't it? They did such a beautiful design of... Uh, I think she designed the cover, I'm, I'm assuming, because there's no other reference there but it's beautiful and her illustrations are awesome so I love that uh the next book oh my god I was so excited about this doodle robot showed this on her channel now, I've been hunting for this book for a very long time and I know my friend Carrie Kay has it um by the way check out her channel she's amazing and um I know that so it's an older coloring book and um Doodle Robot also has been hunting for this for a while. I know we both wanted it, but when she, when she showed this on her channel, I was shocked. I thought I would never get my hands on this book. And there were a couple of copies left on Amazon suddenly out of nowhere. So at a great price and I was shocked. And I immediately went on and after I saw her video and purchased it. So, cause I love this so much and it's so quirky. Um, basically, um, I already started doing all her body suits. I picked like an acrylic marker, a uh, purple acrylic marker, and I did all of her body suits the same color because it's basically a woman that she falls asleep at night and she dreams. She, and then the whole coloring book is where she goes in her dreams. And it's such a beautiful, I love the illustration style. And, um... There's so many pages in here I want to do. Look how many pages I marked. It's crazy. But I love that she's like a full-figured woman. And it's definitely the antithesis to like, you know, the perfect girl that is always in coloring books. Are, are always like this perfect, beautiful, skinny young girl. But I love that she's not the typical girl. And um, it's just so quirky and awesome and very artistic. In my opinion, much more artistic than, you know, just a just a you know, beautiful girl. I don't know. <laughs> I love it. So anyway, I, um, thank you doodle so much for showing this on your channel and that you got it. And I am so happy. So I love it. Uh, the next book is midwinter magic. And this is from paper cloth studio. I have a flip through. Oh, it's getting hot in my room. I'm just going to take my sweater off. Um, I have a flip through of this on my channel. Now, what happened is um, I have a Winter Wonderland. This book I got on eBay a while ago that I love, also from Paper Cloth Studio. And they use different artists in here, but I still love it. This is my page that I did. But I love this one so much. I did not know that Paper, Cl Paper and Cloth Studio had another coloring book. Until one of my viewers who bought the other book after she saw it on my channel, she found this and purchased it and she showed it on her Instagram. I follow her on Instagram, so I saw that. So thank you so much to you. You know who you are. Winter, I believe it's um, Winter Autumn Colors, something like that. I'll leave the link below. And so I saw it on her channel and uh, I have a flip through of this, like I said. The illustrator is wonderful and... It, and uh, it's all, in this case, it's all the same illustrator and it's all Rebecca Barker. She's just wonderful and I love it. So check out my flip through um, if you're interested. And um, this is available on Amazon, although I did get mine on eBay. Okay, so the next book I actually saw on Bonnie's channel, Coloring Up North. So Bonnie enables me a lot. Um, I love her taste in books and very unique collection. So I saw this on her channel and I thought it was super cute. And um, yeah, I really like it. It's really, really cool. It's, I think this will be fun with water-based markers. It's very whimsical and kind of um, just an easy kind of coloring book with gel pens and stuff like for relaxation. So I love anything garden, like fairies, mushrooms. I love that whole theme. So forgot to say, Angelica, Scudamore. And there's a lot of pages in here. It's really thick and chunky. So I think I got mine on eBay. I'm not sure. Um, but it might be available on Amazon. I'm not sure. 
the next two books, I actually ran in, I got these a while ago and I haven't showed them yet on my channel. I started a page in this one. Uh, where's my page? I started. Oops. I started a page in here. But this kind of has an Alice in Wonderland theme. It's called The Story of Pandora by Kim Sun. Oh, excuse me. The illustrations are Song Guam Jin. And there's another one called The Land of Dreams, an animal fantasy coloring book. I stumbled upon these on eBay. And then I looked up and found the flip throughs of them. And they're older books. I got mine on um, halfpricebooks.com. I think they sell through eBay or maybe I went directly from them. I don't know. But later on, I saw that Amanda88 has this one. I don't know if she has this one, but I know she has this. But yeah, it's an older book that I had never heard about. And so, but I did get these, they're beautiful. I, I don't know if it's a Korean illustrator or a Chinese illustrator, I'm not sure. Maybe Japanese, I don't know, but it's stunning. Um, I think it's either Chinese or Korean uh, illustrator. But it ha this one has like an Alice in Wonderland kind of theme. And um, there's flip throughs online of these. They are very detailed, the line art, so it might not be for everyone, but I really, really like it. Very unique, and I, yeah, so I did get these two as well from Half Price Books. They have great prices there, by the way. Okay, the next two books are actually from Daiso, and I was there in Las Vegas with my kids, and um, they had these coloring books with incredible paper, an incredible look at these beautiful illustrations it reminds me of eerie like a small eerie and it kind of reminds me of like you know how hannah carlson my next book which i'll show hannah carlson did these little smaller ones for kids kind of like that and the paper is amazing but they're from daiso so this was like a dollar 75 each and this one is animals I love that double page spread. And they're smaller. The paper is incredible. It's just like, and there's not that many pages. So, um, yeah. Aren't they cute? And I already started a page here. So I got these two as well recently. And you saw this. So this one, I was, I go to a used bookstore nearby and they had this one and also the party one for a while and I didn't get it because I'm not a huge fan of like the people. I don't know, I don't love Hannah Carlson's style. That's why I don't have a lot of her books. I only have Daydreams. But here, that's the uh, the used bookstore. New and gently used, uh, the open book. But <clears throat> they had this there and um, I thought about it. I like these, like these two, but um doodle robot recently did this one so beautifully and i was like you know what i'm just gonna get it the paper is good so i decided to get it it was five dollars so yeah i did get that recently the next book is alice in wonderland by olga Golovishkina, and i saw this i had my eye on this book for a long time it's an older book it was on my wish list for a while it's nice and chunky there's a lot of pages in here and it is an Amazon printed book. And it, but it's I do collect Alice in Wonderland books now, so but yeah, it was on my wish list for a while. And finally I got it. Every illustration is in a circle. So it's just the story of Alice in Wonderland in these really cute, quirky illustrations. I really love this artist. And so I finally got it. It's such a good price. It's like six dollars. I mean, you can't go wrong with you know, you get a lot of a lot for your money in this case. So, uh, I plan to use alcohol markers here. Let me just move that out of the way. The last book is a gem. So this one is by Jessica Palmer, and I do plan to get her other Tangled Bay. She does the Tangled uh, series. It's an older series of books, which I um, have ordered as well, but. This one is really, really cool. It's Tiffany Glass. Now, I love stained glass coloring books, but um, I haven't seen one of such good quality. Well, I do have the art therapy one, but I don't, 
Love that one. There's some creepy images in that one. Oh, I just started a page, but this one is really, really cool. So I love it. This is a Tiffany Glass coloring book by Jessica Palmer. And it is a little bit larger than her other books. This is an older book. Got that on eBay. So that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed part two of my haul. And I hope you have a wonderful coloring month. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone. Thank you.